today's video is gonna be a little interesting. Let me. Okay, so I want to talk about what it's like being an introvert that's on the dating scene, y'all. That's also celibate and that's also new to interracial dating. Whoa, I really sound like I'm filling out a job application over here, y'all. <laughs> Let me stop. You guys, you guys, the dating scene has been truly interesting. Plus, we're also dealing with, dare I say, co... You know, due to the situation that's going on in the world, we need a code word, y'all. Um, Coconut. We'll go with that. But you guys, like, dude, can I please catch a break? I'm an introvert. I'm celibate. I'm new on the little interracial dating and now also dealing with coconut, y'all. Can I please catch a break? Thank you in advance. I'm hungry, y'all. Let's go ahead and get something to eat and we'll chit chat while your girl is being a healthy keto queen. Bloop. Because y'all already know the vibes. I've told y'all before. I have a couple of goals to complete in life. You know, I already got fine AF down packed. Duh. Then I want to be fit, a successful businesswoman, and also a rich wife. Yeah. Those are the vibes I want in life. Tell me what I get this way. Doing things I can't explain. You guys never mind, they're close. So I need to find somewhere else to eat. Where will I go? Yum, 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 Yes. When I went to Yamato, I decided on getting... Let me tell y'all this real quick. So, I have only eaten bacon. Just bacon and coffee. Oh, I did have two keto-friendly peanut butter cookies that I made. And, yeah, that's about it. So, yeah. I'm about to enjoy this meal. This is shrimp with chicken and broccoli and mushrooms and zucchini and just... Mm. I'm about to have a whole party right now in my mouth. Yeah. Oh. Um. So, regarding my dating life, you guys, I kind of feel like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> I kid you not. But, y'all, at the same time, I really and truly have to stay cautious. But, hey, y'all. Oh, well. I'm cool with that. go ahead and tell y'all this topic y'all that I really want to talk about I feel like due to the whole little you know black men being gifted more than men of other races you guys or that's what they say y'all I feel like men of other races at some point how do I say this at some point you guys it's like they feel the need to tell me that they are not small <laughs> Oh my gosh, mom, please don't watch this video. I kid you not, you guys. They have to let me know. Let me say this a little bit louder for you guys. Let me know, okay, <laughs> that they are not small. <laughs> and I crack up literally every single time. I do, y'all. I cannot stop laughing about it. Can I be honest, though, y'all? Like, I don't care <laughs> about... Okay, <laughs> let me not say that because, you know need you being huge AF because like I told y'all I am literally almost two years celibate clearly that is not a high priority in my life <laughs> you know honestly and truly you guys I am attracted to dare I say a man with power and I'm also attracted to a man with intelligence I am heavy on the spatial sexual side y'all yeah that's definitely me oh my goodness y'all not the fact that it's 3 17 on the clock <clears throat> somebody listening to me up there y'all somebody listening <laughs> just in case you do not know what 3 17 is that is my birthday i was born on st patrick's day so you know lucky vibes over here 
You guys, I am truly attracted to a man, like I said, that is intelligent, but also at the same time that can teach me something. Y'all already know that I'm in graduate school for my Master of Business Administration degree. Actually, y'all, um, it's a two-year program, and I just completed my first year, and now I just have one more year, and boop, boop, I have my degree. So clearly, you know, I want someone that I can relate to, but also at the same time, learn something from. Also, you guys, I live in the South, <laughs> to be more specific. I live in Mississippi. <laughs> the funny thing about that is, y'all, my parents really said, oh, you know what? Why not live in Mississippi? Like, that would be such a great idea. Love you, Mom, in case you're watching this, which is really and truly embarrassing. And rest in peace, Dad. Can I just tell y'all that I don't care what people think? Okay. Let me not say that, because at some level, we care what others think. So, yeah, I'll say I don't care, but then again, I care. I have already been receiving a lot. The typical, you could have waited for a good black man. Oh, let's not forget the good one where if I date a man of another race, it's a sin. But let's overlook the New Testament. First Timothy chapter 5, verse 8. Anyone that does not provide for their relatives and especially, keyword, especially their own household has denied the faith and is worse than a non-believer. <clears throat> hmm. I know I don't have any children, y'all, but I just find it crazy that literally the government, literally the government, y'all, has to make some men, <clears throat> y'all let me stop, has to make a lot of men take care of of their children also you guys i have dated black men who by the black community standards are considered quality black men y'all and listen it was a no for me <laughs> it was a no for me a huge no but like i said before y'all am i saying that i will never ever ever date another black man that's not what i'm saying y'all you guys my options are open they are officially open and so far, you guys, I am liking what I'm seeing. I'm liking it. Mm -hmm. I kid you not, y'all. I really and truly do not want to be one of those black women that's like 40, 50, 60 years old talking about where the good black men at? Where the good black men at? No. And listen, I'm not even trying to shade people at that age that's saying it. I'm just saying I see it way, way, way too much, y'all. In life, we can choose to learn from our experiences or we can look at other people's situations and be like, you know what, I don't even want to go through that. And that's where I am regarding the situation. I don't even want to go through that. In regards to like being celibate, y'all, I feel like that puts me in like a unique position. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> okay, yeah, it is. At times, I feel like I should like, you know, announce on top of the roof, hey, I'm celibate. And you know what, even though you real, real fine, <laughs> I'm still celibate. Y'all listen, a dude could be like, hey, what do you bring to the table? And then I just list off all my amazing things because you know, I'm amazing AF. And then I gotta find a way to kind of slide it on in that I'm celibate as well. And then after telling the guy that I'm celibate, he'll be like, oops, okay, that's good. You know what? Thank you, next. Now listen, y'all, that has not happened, but I am an overthinker. I think that Everyone can agree on that. I am an overthinker and I always feel like it's gonna happen. Even though it hasn't happened, I feel like it's gonna happen. You guys, the way I try to like slide in the fact that I'm celibate is the same way dudes who have like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten kids be trying to slide in the fact they got all them kids. I'm really over here serving dusty vibes. <laughs> Shout out to Cynthia G for that. <laughs> you guys, regarding me being an introvert, hmm. I do think that it's nice to date a fellow introvert, but at the same time, y'all, dating an extrovert would probably be something nice for me, you know? Basically getting me out of my comfort zone. You guys, due to the fact that we're in 2021 and that's literally my vibes for this year, who knows? That may not be a horrible idea. Boo, y'all, this food's so good. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Come on. Let me be great, thank you. 
Y'all, I really gotta do my braids over before I go on another date. But yeah, y'all, I think I'm gonna save the rest of this food for tomorrow, yeah? So if by any chance you are new here, hi, welcome to the family. We would love, love, love to have you to officially join the YouTube family by clicking that subscribe button plus the notification bell as well so you won't miss out on any future uploads here. You can always, always, always expect a new video from me on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And guess what? Your girl has not missed an upload yet. I would like to thank you all so very much for watching this video. As always, if you have not heard it today, I love you. So stay blessed and I'll see you in the next video, which will be Monday. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Have a great Friday. Have enough fun for me and you. And yeah, please remember to stay blessed, stay safe, and of course y'all stay unique. And yeah, I will see y'all on Monday. I love you so, so, so much. Bye. You guys, a little bit of this video is trolling because I am trolling a little bit. <laughs> it wouldn't be me if I didn't. I need a water break. I've had so much water today, y'all. Y'all be so proud. I am being a true hydrated queen. Mm.